What is happening, automotive fanatics? It's Peter, your automotive fanatic, coming at you guys once again with a product installation and review. We are dedicating today's video to Model 3 and Model Y Tesla owners. Those of you that own Teslas know they come in the performance line. And typically with the performance line, you have different type of upgrades that are standard on the car. One of those things is the brake calibers where they come colored. Non-performance vehicles do not have the calibers colored. So what you end up getting is owners who want to change their regular calipers to have either red, blue, whatever color it is that they desire. There are a couple of different routes. You can have the calipers painted or you can buy what are called caliper covers. Now, in the past, I was not a huge proponent of caliper covers on ICE vehicles because typically the calipers got very hot from the rotors and you would essentially have a chance to damage your braking system and the fact that they looked cheap to begin with. However, a company called EV Base that makes these caliper uh, covers, they did a very good job. I have had a chance to install a few of these and honestly, they look pretty good for what they are. You can go ahead and paint your calipers uh, to something that you want, but to do it right, it's a little costly and it's time consuming. Where with these caliper covers here, the installation is typically 45 minutes to about maybe an hour and a half depending on your mechanical skills and if you have access to either a lift or vehicle jacks where you can get the car's tires off the ground. So let me go ahead and show you what EV Base provides real quick. These are going to be the caliper covers. They come well packaged. You have a set of four and the larger covers are obviously your fronts. You have your rears here. These are going to be the holding base um, screws that will go to the calipers. Now I want to go ahead and show you because they are very uh, side, uh, I'm sorry, not side specific, but very uh, front and rear specific. You've got some right here. You'll see these little ones here. This one is an L, which stands for the left side. You have one just like this that is for the right side. And then you've got these little L looking screws. You have two of them that will go on each side. And these are for the front caliper covers. You have some other ones here and these look vastly different. You have this here. This is also an L and there's going to also be two. These are for the rears. <clears throat> so what I wanted to go ahead and do today is show you guys how to install it. Now for the video itself, it is a little difficult to film properly. So I'm going to show you ahead of time how to get these set up on the calipers. Here is the larger front caliper that you're going to see. Now looking at this caliper, you've got one here, you've got one here, and then you have this little hole here. Uh, the way that you're going to do it is that initial larger piece you're going to put right here. You're going to put it on the caliper and let's just say, shoot, I'll show it to you guys this way. You're going to install it here. And then with um, the side holes here is where you put those L looking brackets. For the rears, we'll go the very back. Here's the very front. Here you've got the hole here and here. This is where you're going to mount the very back holding assembly that clamps onto the caliper. 
and you're tightening it to have this uh, essentially stay on and I will show you guys how to do that. Now you'll notice that it does come uh, with these on here. EV Base gives you two different options. You can go this silver or you can do the black. Again, whatever your heart desires. So installation in itself, it is not too complicated to do. Just take your time. The fronts typically tend to be a little more difficult than the very back because you do have three bolts to set up and the fitment is just so uh, tight that you want to do it in a very specific way. But again, I'll show you guys how to do that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you guys how to get your caliper covers on your Tesla. We are at the very front of um, the Tesla, so this is going to be your front setup. The caliper cover is just gonna sit just like that there. Now, I had showed you guys this little device here. It actually goes into a little groove on the caliper on this side. So what you do, you want to see the lettering. You'll put it right there, just like such. And put that on there like that. You wanna make sure that that stays on there. Now here is the trick. These little brackets will go on this side here. And the way that you install it, it's gonna install just like this here, where you're going to put the bolt through here into here. This little L here is gonna go on the other side of the caliper. So you have to kinda get in there to see it so that it aligns you'll get one of the smaller screws to go in there. We're going to tighten it. So again, what you guys can't see is it's going to sit like this here, or I'm sorry, we'll do it like this. This bolt goes right in here and essentially locks that caliper cover to the very back side of the, uh, the OEM caliper here. So we'll do the same thing. We'll kind of lift it like this here just kind of kind of eye it and okay great now the very front one we're going to also have to eye it to get that through the bolt and you can kind of position this caliper to to line it up a little better if you have to okay so that looks like it's in you can hand tighten it and then from there you're just going to use one of the Allen keys that EV Base provides. You're going to go ahead and simply tighten it. When you are going to tighten these two and this one here, there's no official torque spec, so you can't really torque it down. But you do want to do it to a good snug level, but do not over tighten them. So go ahead and just tighten it. That feels real good. We'll get this one here. That feels really good as well. And there you have it. You've got the nipple up. All three bolts are torqued in and the fitment with the EV base caliper cover is absolutely perfect. We're back at the back caliper and I'm gonna show you how to use these little braces here to properly align the caliper. Now L4, you're going to put right up here. Now if you can see, there's a little indentation that goes and matches to the caliper and it sits snug. If you try to do L5, it does not go and you see the type of movement that you have. So again, L4 will go here and L5 will sit down here. And again, you see how nice and tight it is against the caliper. There you go. So what I did here was I pre-installed the clamps onto it 
what we're gonna do here is we're going to essentially position this where it fits up here. Do the very top one first. Okay, and then this caliper essentially will slide right on. So what I'm doing is I'm holding that clamp and the very back side to the caliper here. We're going to screw it in just like that. This is pretty tight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to position this back lower one and you'll feel it kind of sit right into where it's supposed to be and we'll go ahead and screw this one here as well. Okay, and it's very important that you do want to hold on to this while you're screwing it in so that you can feel it sit the way it's supposed to. Go ahead and tighten it at this point here, like such. There you go. And you can tell it is nice and, and tight. It is not going anywhere. So that is how you install the rear caliper cover. With the caliper covers completely installed at this point, I wanted to go ahead and hear from you guys with your comments. I know it is not for everybody, but for people who want a nice solution that's cheap, relatively easy to install, that gives them the look of a better caliper, this might be the way to go. I do want to go ahead and thank you EV Base for providing this so that I can do the review for them and the installation video as well. I do want to go ahead and thank all of these Tesla fans for dropping by and seeing another install video. I do hope you find that it was useful for you to help you install your covers as well. If you are interested in purchasing these, I will provide a link below to EV Base so that you can make the purchase. They do have different cover colors available so that you can go ahead and kind of select what suits your needs. And if you guys found that this video was helpful, make sure that you give me a thumbs up, smash that like button, and subscribe to future videos that I will be coming out with as well. This is going to be Peter, your automotive fanatic, signing off until the very next time, my friends.